break the seal. Open the box. First thing you see is a QR code so you can scan it and see what information it pulls up. I don't think that it is a uh, wireless device at all. <laughs> um, Viome, maybe, if that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. Put that off to the side. And this is just, that just takes up space. There we go. So that comes out. There's stuff in here. And the box is empty now, except for a cord. There's a cord here. So there now the box is empty. So the first thing we'll look at is the cord. I think this is just the adapter. Just using a USB cord to charge it, I think. So this is just your regular micro USB, the same thing you commonly find on a lot of uh, cell phones. Uh, not the C stuff, not the new ones that are the C. This is the filter itself. And so I'm not gonna open that up. This is just an unboxing video. I'll do a full review video sometime soon. Where's the plug? Maybe it comes off. No, it's just, here it is. It's just the USB port right there. So you don't need anything special. It just has the USB port right there. So there you go. See, you see the USB light, that, well the charge, there's a battery in here, and there's the ultraviolet light there. Ultraviolet lights have been known to kill germs for a long time. You can get systems in your household furnace where you can have a big light bar like that and right through your forced air furnace. And so it cleans out your air while you're going. I'm sure you've seen the mini restaurants up on the wall. Uh, you've got this box with this little blue light emanating from it. Well, that's this technology, you know, taking care of germs in the air. And uh, you can buy household water filter systems that use this kind of UV light. In fact, one of the remote camps that I worked at for a while, they've got one of those systems to be part of their water filtration system. Just like this has got two parts to it. You've got the light and you've got the filter itself. So here we are, and I've got it all set up, ready to use. There's some water in here right now. Let me show you how this works. On the lid, well, let's just take it off. Actually, no, I think I'll show you this way. So I've got it on the camera, there you go. On the lid, you just pour the water in here, and that folds down and lets the water come in. When you want to pour water out, it just lifts up right there, and water comes out. Very, very simple, no problem at all. On the top, and I'm gonna take this off now so you can see it. On the lid here, we've got this extra component. Uh, you can pop it out if you want to using these two levers right here. And basically, it shows you how much life is left in the uh, the um, filter. Uh, that lights up <laughs> where the percentages are 175. Let me see if I can focus on that. Uh, not sure how I can get the light on there just right. Anyhow, it lights up how much percentage is left of the uh, filter, and then you can just press that button, and um, you know it says 100% is left, and then when I want to reset it, I hold it for three seconds. Do you see that thing across right there in the water? There's a battery pack here. There's the power button, and hopefully you'll see it when I turn it on. So there you go, you can see that light in there. Let's turn some lights off so you can see it better. So there you go, see, you can see that light in there? That is an ultraviolet rate light. It's been proven that that kind of light kills viruses and some other things. So that's a really, really good thing to have. They put those kind of devices, I think I said in the unboxing video, uh, you can see them in some restaurants sometimes. You can see little boxes on the walls that have this bluish glow. Uh, you can buy these 
rods for your furnace filter to filter air. You can buy these rods to put into your water system at home to kill bugs and stuff in your water. So this is a very good part of the technology and I really like this an awful lot. I'm going to show you what the filter looks like. That's what the filters look like. You can buy these. These are about uh, 10 $12 a piece, up to $14 a piece. It, that's Canadian, I think. Uh, you got the holes at the bottom here for them to go through and holes at the top for the water to come in. So that's how the thing works. I don't know if any of you remember this. This is from a video I did last summer. This is a total dissolved solids tester. So anything that's in the water that's not water, this thing will tell us how many parts per million is in the water. So let's remove this. We have a system at home that's very much like that, and it's the Brita system that a lot of people in North America have that. So I've got a glass marked Brita. I put some water through the Brita system and put it, tested it there. And uh, this first one here, this is uh, droplets. <laughs> That's a commercial water supplier that we have in our town. And they do a reverse osmosis to test the water. And this is our tap water. And so what I can do is I can test how many parts per million are in there. So I'm going to try to zoom this in as closely as I can so we can see everything here. I hope we can read those numbers. So... Just pull the cap off, you put this end in there, and you test it, but you have to press the button here to turn it on. So let's test our tap water and uh, see if we can read how much is in there. There you go, you can read that. 209, 210, and as I leave it in there, it keeps testing it every second or so, and it'll just fluctuate between 208 through 210, and that's what our tap water is. I'm going to shake it off, shake it as dry as I can real quick. Put it into our droplets commercial water, and that's a reverse osmosis water. And I get the number, you can see it on the screen right there, four. Well, now it goes down to two or nothing. <laughs> you know, if I leave it in there, it goes to the number four, which hopefully you can read on the screen. I hold it just right. Okay, so that's very good. <laughs> I might have got it a little bit dirty. I tried to get it, well, I was hoping it'd be at zero, but we'll see. Now here's our Brita filter. And what number are we gonna come up with there at our parts per million? Can you read that? It's saying 106 right now. Let's bring it a little closer and see if we can focus. There you go, 104, 106, and back and forth. Now, can you guess how much this Viomi water reads? If you want to put your guesses in before you see it, I'll accept any of your guesses. So it's reading a zero right now. We put it in and watch this. Oh, there's a glare right there. See that? 202, 203. Hold it here and put it on a bit of an angle so hopefully you can see it. 204. Isn't that nasty? Our top water was 210. I'm sorry, but this VOME filter does very, very little, next to nothing. And so therefore, I'm not going to recommend this to anybody. Although I really, really wanted to recommend it. So can you guess what my wife is going to do? Well, from here on in, my wife is going to filter the water with the Brita. And since this thing's larger, and she likes having lots of water handy, we'll put our Brita water in here and uh, use that light on it. And uh, we're going to have slightly cleaner, safer water than we had before. And this kind of water generally gets used when we're going to boil it to make tea or coffee or something else. And uh, so we use this water as well, but we don't want to pay for the reverse osmosis all the time. So there you go. I got a, I've got a coupon code for this VOME machine if you want to use that coupon code. If you've decided you still like to buy one of these anyways, I've got a little bit of a discount for you. 
Thank you so much for watching my little video at Goods, Gadgets, and Gear. Until next time, have a good one.